Hey students, uh, so today I just want to do a quick video on how we can code keys in open processing using P5JS. Um, now, first I'll say before I start, uh, there's multiple different ways to do this. Uh, so this is just one way. Uh, there's a lot of other ways that you can code for keys. So if I want keys to do specific things on the keyboard, um, this is what the, this video is going to show you. All right, you can see uh, just right off the bat here, I have my setup uh, block of code and my draw block of code, which I need. And they're very simple code. All it's doing, if I refresh this, the only thing it's doing is drawing a boring blue circle. Okay. Now let's say um, I want to press a key on the keyboard and I want it to change the background. We'll just keep it super simple. So I'm going to use an event function and uh, I'm going to use the function uh, key pressed. Okay. So this is the key pressed event function. I'm not going to put any parameters in the parentheses for this, but I am going to open the block of code. Remember, we have to use an open curly bracket. And then so that I don't forget, I'm just going to go ahead and close that curly bracket down here because it's easy to forget. Now, all this is going to do is anything I put in this block of a code, if I, if I press any key on the keyboard, it's going to uh, execute that code. And so let's go ahead and have it change the background. Uh, and let's just go ahead and make it white. So we'll do 255 in, uh, for that argument and close that. So now if we rerun the code here, all right, I have my gray background that's called in the setup function. But if I press any key on the keyboard, I'm just going to press G. Uh, my background is now going to turn white. Now, it's only going to do that one time because my background only runs one time for the gray color, which is in setup, and there is no background function in draw. So that's what it does. But what if you actually wanted to press a specific key and have it change the background different colors? So let's look at that. So now what we're going to do, again, uh, if you're a pro at this, uh, uh, you probably know different ways to do it, more effective or efficient ways. That's great. This is for entry level coding. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to create a, a new small block of code within the key pressed function, and I'm going to use an, use an if statement. So um, it's going to evaluate the if statement and decide if it's true or not. And if it's true, it's going to execute the code. And so we'll go ahead and um, start with if, and in the parentheses, I'm gonna say, what do you want to decide if this is true or not? And we're gonna use a, a system variable called key. And um, it, we want the key to equal for this. I wanna press uh, the B. I wanna press the letter B and that'll tr change the background to black, <laughs> hard to say. Now I have to press equals equals here because that's the parameters or the, the correct code for that. So if the key is equals equals, that means if the key is equal to, and I'm gonna use a one, uh, one parent here, I'm sorry, one quote, um, and put a little b in there, okay, and then close that up. So literally what the computer is going to say is, okay, a key was pressed, and now it's going to go into that key pressed function down here and say, if that key is equal to b, now execute the code. And so now we need to start a, a block of code within here. I'm going to open my curly bracket, right? Now we're going to put, and I'm going to close it so I don't forget, and we'll put background or you could just copy and paste the background. And I, I said I want the background to be black, so we'll do zero here. Okay. Um, now, when I run this, all right, let's go ahead and refresh it. I'm going to get that gray background. But when I press the B key, boom, uh, it changed my background to white. <laughs> uh, that's because I still have this code in here. Whoops. So let's comment that out for now and let me refresh it. That's because um, even though that was true, it may have momentarily changed the background to zero, but it still execute the rest of this code. So probably for a very small fraction of a second, we couldn't even see it change the back, back, <laughs> background to black. And then it instantly changed it to white. And so we didn't see that happen. So now I, I commented it out that part of the code. So let's see what it looks like here. So we go gray. And now with that other code commented out, I'm going to press B for black. And now you see my, my background went to black because it was true that I pressed the B key and this code gets executed. So that's how you can easily code keys. Um, you could have a whole bunch more information in here. And uh, once we learn how to do incrementation, you can move things around doing this. Uh, let me, let's do one more. Let's say um, I wanted to code the space bar to change the, the background to white. So let's put another if function 
in here. And again, there's other ways to do this. We might be able to use the if else statement um, or else if we could probably use that as, as well. But for, I'm just going to show you a simple way to kind of mimic this. So let's say I want to use a space bar key equals. Now for a space bar, we literally just put a space in that spot. Okay, if you leave it blank and you don't put a space in there, it's not going to recognize it in P5JS. But we're going to, uh, oops, single quote there and close that up. And then we're going to put our block of code. Um, don't forget to close your curly bracket. And for this one, we want the background to be white. So I'm actually going to copy this code and uh, cut it and paste it up here to save a little time, take the comment out. And now it's going to, let's get rid of some of that extra space here. Uh, now it's going to evaluate, you know, the expression. If I press B, it's going to turn black. If I press, press um, a space, it's going to go white. So let's rerun that. And here again, I'm going to press a space bar right now. Boom. And we get a white background. And now I can toggle back and forth, right? Because the B turns it black and the space turns it white. So you can think of all different kinds of things you could put in this code. You could, um, if you press a B and you wanted to draw a, a bunch of squares that are green, I don't know, you could code all that stuff in there. And so this is a pretty versatile tool um, and pretty sim simple to code. Uh, so uh, this, this is just one way of doing it. So hope hope you have fun coding with this and play around and, and learn something new.